Hey, what's up? Uh, me again. So I kind of want to talk about Marvel since I put up a video about five DC storylines that I want them to adapt. Marvel hasn't really had an uh, animated film in probably close to a decade. Maybe, uh, probably a little bit under that. Um, their TV shows are just not doing it for me. They're, they're just not my age range, and I don't think they're the exact cup of tea kids either since there's only, what, two left? You got Spider-Man. Um, I know Avengers Black Panther Quest ended. Guardians ended. Do they have any other cartoons other than Spider-Man for Marvel going on right now? I don't really think they do. And I think that's a problem. Here's my list of uh, five Marvel storylines that I think they should adapt. So I'll, I'll give you five. I will give you five for freebies of what you should adapt. Daredevil, Man Without Fear. First, have Charlie Cox come back to play him. Because who doesn't love him? And basically just adapting the Man Without Fear story by Frank Miller, which is a really, really freaking good <laughs> comic. Just just do that. Make it, make it a PG-13. Make it fun. Have Charlie Cox play him because he's fantastic. He's the perfect, he's the perfect Matt Murdock. Just do, just go through that storyline. Heck, if you want to break it into two parts, break it into two parts. But I feel like you can expedite that process of him, like what happened with him and his father, becoming Daredevil with the black suit, uh, meeting Elektra, stuff like that, and then just having him grow like a Daredevil rising story. Just do that, and people love it. People love Daredevil. People love Charlie Cox. Do those. Boom, freebie. Next, Avengers Secret Wars. Yeah, just adapt Secret Wars. I know I'm almost certain that at some point down the road that Marvel's gonna try their try their hand at like a secret invasion, but they'll probably call it Secret Wars because of the scrolls and Badoon and blah de blah de blah de blah. But do do a version of Secret Wars. I feel like you get really creative with like who you cast for that, how you execute that. And and I mean the first Secret Wars, like way back from like the seventies, do an adaptation of that one. I feel like you could do a lot to kind of inspire a new version i'm sure kevin feige has his own plan for how they're going to do their version but an animated version i feel like is really fun you can get wacky and experiment with different characters if you want to adapt one of the other secret wars like secret wars 2 secret wars 2019 infinity warps which is kind of its own almost secret wars type deal like do one of those but i'd say go with og you can have spider-man get in the black suit you can have everybody fighting on a big battle world just like avengers versus avengers and aliens and that villains and whatnot you just get really crazy with it and i feel like you have a lot of fun with where you take that like animation wise and trying your best to make that a bit of a concise story <clears throat> spider-man the clone saga it is one of the most infamous spider-man stories of all time and i don't think they're ever gonna have the balls to tackle it over at sony so why not give it a try in the animated world i feel like now with our better understanding of peter parker as a character and having him be an adult you could actually do a pretty solid adaptation of the Clone Saga where it's a little bit more smoother and a little bit more coherent. People complain about Clone Saga and One More Day all the time. And I was trying to pick between the two of them. I, I feel like you can do more with stories that everyone already isn't the biggest fan of. You can only improve it. So like the Age of Ultron we got is still better than the Age of Ultron the comic. It's not the best Avengers movie by any means, but it has good aspects to it. It's better than the one from the comics. Do your own Clone Saga uh, you don't see Miles Warren that much in TV shows. I think he's in the newest one. I think he barely got a cameo in Spectacular. Don't think he showed up much in Ultimate. So use Miles. Miles Warren, I mean. You can play with that a lot. and You can make you this own little spinoff line of Spider-Man movies. And um, I, I didn't want to do a Spider-Verse per se, but this could kind of be Disney's way of doing their own like Spider-Versions of the different clones you can introduce kane and you know introduce the dichotomy between him and peter and stuff like that i, f I feel like you could do a lot of interesting stuff with this it was either gonna be that or the other or one more day thor god of thunder i know they've already done a thor movie but uh do another one this one is based off of jason aaron's run i could see them spinning this off into its own little sagas but i would be really intrigued to see them do the story about thor against gore the god butcher unless they adopt that for thor love and thunder which I have an inkling that they might do just because Gore is a really interesting character with the Necrosword and everything, but I feel like you could do a more direct adaptation 
using what is his name? Isan Revix art style. I can't remember the art poor artist. You can go really deep with that backstory of Gore and kind of get a more sympathetic villain out of that. So you know, do Thor versus Gore the God Butcher. Then you have Thor losing his worthiness, and maybe you do one more sin, one more sin, uh, the original sin movie, and then Thor loses his title. Then you get your Jane Thor movie, which could you know come out just in time for uh, Love and Thunder or something like that. And then you go on with Thor as the Odin son in that journey. So you have at least these two competing stories. So you have like Thor, who's Jane, and then you have Odinson going on his journey of being the unworthy. Converge and come back to Northor. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like you can do a lot of interesting stuff with that because that's just a really, really long story arc. Who knows? Maybe you hit War of Realms. But yeah, do Thor God of Thunder from the from the Iron Realm. The last one is what I call Blade Legacy. It's inspired by that run we were supposed to get of Blade from like 2014 about Blade training his daughter which I thought was a really interesting concept, but unfortunately got canceled, which really, really sucks because it was a really cool concept art and everything going on for it. But yeah, I feel like you could have a story about Blade raising his daughter as another day walker, as, as a future vampire hunter and slayer and whatnot. And just kind of, I don't know, have Blade, I, I feel like you could have Blade and his daughter, as he's showing her the ropes, like traveling the world. You can make this a world globe trotting story about the bond between a father and daughter as let's say they go to destroy the seven vampire lords and you can make this like a short film series if you want to you can make it a show but i would think it'd be really interesting as like a movie of them going against like the first vampire lords and they're all inspired by like famous literary vampires like of course you have your draculas but what about your like nosferatus or your camillas Bathory's like those vampires like you go against legends and it's not easy and he has to show her the ropes and be like look this isn't a game so you either get right or get left like so I think that'd be a really interesting concept for story and it can get hype for Mahershala Ali's blade to come in 20 <laughs> uh, those are my ideas uh, if you like them like them if you like them Disney happily take them please I think these are all interesting place to go originally i was going to say an ultimate movie based off the good ultimate but i decided against that because i remember the blade one so yeah and plus we never got to see what came in the story so you could have bring in the guy that was supposed to do that as a writer i thought it would be really interesting anyways if you like this video or you like my ideas uh let me know like the video comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel share the content have a good one talk to you later